Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Did I set it up to the right microphone? <laughs> Audio? No, I didn't. Hold on. Okay. So, for the sake of this video, let's go ahead and change my wallpaper to something a little more appropriate. Um, let me find something here. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Eh. I mean, that's cool, but. Okay. Just go to my pictures. Yeah, my pictures. Okay. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I have a lot of pictures on here. This is ridiculous. Ooh, that one's cool. But that's not our thing. Okay, what about this one? That one's cool. That one's really cool. This one's even cooler. Oh, yeah! Okay, we're gonna stick with that one. Save changes. Thing about Windows is you have to save changes before closing out, or else because if you just close out, oh god, stretch! You know how long it's been since I've stretched. Anyway, if you just close out, then it won't save your changes, and then you'll just be stuck with the same wallpaper, and you got to go back and do it again. It's pretty stupid. But anyway, that's not what I'm here to talk about today. I have a theory about uh, the plot details behind uh, Batman vs Superman: Dawn of Justice. So. I wrote it down here, and uh, this could potentially be spoiler-filled. Uh, I just took all of what we know about uh, Dawn of Justice so far and kind of made my own personal theory. So, um, so if you don't want to hear this, because we are still a ways away, like, what is it, six months at least, from uh, the movie, so if I turn out to be 100% or at least 90% correct, then, uh, you know, go ahead and click away from the video or just mute the video so you can watch me make a whole bunch of weird facial expressions. Um, or you can mute the video and try to read my lips, because that's always fun. You ever tried that? It's, it's a very fun thing to do. Anyway, so, here we go. Basically, what I, uh, found out is, because we heard, uh, as a rumor that Batman at some point, um, like, breaks into LexCorp to find some kryptonite, uh, to get some kryptonite, and so my theory is Luther finds out that uh, Batman has been snooping around LexCorp, and so he tries to find a way to uh, turn Superman against Batman, so what he does is, uh, according to rumors, uh, Superman becomes so angry with Luther because Luther kidnaps Martha Kent, his mom. And so, when Luther finds out that Bruce has been snooping, Luther has this elaborate plan to kidnap Clark's mother. And then when Clark shows up, all PO'd, you know, because that's, you know, my mom, um, then he is brainwashed by Luther, somehow. And, that, and so that's that scene we see uh, in the second trailer where Luther is, like, looking down at him and Superman looks up angry. He's being brainwashed. And that's when uh, Luther convinces Clark to go after Batman. And so they just go at it. And Batman is ill-prepared because he might have kryptonite, but he doesn't quite know how to use it. And uh, he doesn't have his armored suit and stuff like that. So that's when we see uh, that scene from the trailer where... Um... <laughs> now, i got to get to this uh, later on, but... The scene where we see the heat vision coming at Batman and he's, uh, you know, that Dark Knight Returns inspired shot where he leans down and the lightning strikes and then he grapples away and the heat vision. I think that is Superman's heat vision. He's just brainwashed uh, into, like, Luther trying to get uh, Superman to kill Batman. Of course, he's unsuccessful. And so, um, Batman uh, gets out of there and maybe finds a way to... Uh, to get away long enough for Superman to, uh, like, you know, uh, stop the brainwashing from happening, or maybe he finds a way to use the kryptonite to get Superman down long enough to talk him down, um, but either way, after that, Batman, of course, does not trust Superman, because he does not know about the brainwashing, so that's what I'm saying, like, um, maybe he doesn't, like, <clears throat> maybe Batman, like, 
maybe he doesn't talk him down. Maybe he just gets out of there and survives uh, long enough for Superman to kind of calm down and regather his thoughts. At this point, uh, let me see. At this point, um, uh, Superman, you know, Batman does not trust Superman because as far as he knows, he can wipe out and will wipe out the human race because he tried to kill Batman. Uh, so that is when we see uh, Batman um, wanting, like, calling Superman basically for the second showdown, which is the big showdown. This is when he has the armored suit and it's pouring rain and he's on the rooftop and he shines the bat signal into the sky from the second trailer and also that was the footage from the comic-con trailer except they didn't show the part where the uh the bat signal where lightning flashes and superman's in the center of the bat logo but anyway uh so that's when the big showdown happens and so they go at it you know throwing each other through skylights and punching and kicking and hopefully just doing some epic stuff that only superman and batman could do to each other um and then, uh, by the end of this fight, I think personally that he's going that uh, Snyder's going to pay homage to The Dark Knight Returns by having Batman deliver at least a uh, a variation of the famous line from The Dark Knight Returns, but it's going to end in basically a tie. Like maybe Batman delivers that line or a variation of it, but then Superman, uh, like you know, gets out of it and gets on top of him. And states that Batman may be able to beat him at this point, but he's still a god. And, you know, I just, I, I think it's gonna end up in pretty much a tie. But, uh, anyway, the fight ends like that. And then, uh, and then they both actually start talking to each other. And that's when Batman finds out that he was only, uh, being attacked by Superman because he was brainwashed by Luther. And so they both go after Luther. But at this point, it's been so long. Batman has had all this time to prepare his, uh, you know, fancy armored suit. And, uh, you know, just all the time they spent fighting and preparing and stuff like that has given Luther enough time to create Doomsday. So by the time Batman and Superman f finally join forces to go after Luther, that's when Luther unleashes Doomsday. And then... Doomsday is just taking down Superman and Batman like they're having a really hard time uh, controlling him and it looks like they might lose the fight and then out of nowhere comes Wonder Woman and she starts kicking the crap out of Doomsday and then the three of them go at it and uh, I think that they knock out Doomsday. I, I don't think they kill him because I think they, it would be really cool if they... Uh, made it available to bring Doomsday back in like future storylines but I do think that they're going to defeat Doomsday uh, this time and then it ends with kind of Lex Luthor still in the shadows because they never had time to quite deal with him and so that's when he uh, kind of kind of you know starts plotting for maybe the future Superman solo movie um, and so I think in that one scene where Superman in the trailer, where Superman is, you know, flying like this, and then, uh, and then he, he, his heat vision goes right before they show that shot of Batman getting out of the way with the grapple hook. I think that the shot where Superman's using his heat vision is not from the same scene as when, uh, Batman is grappling away, because if you look in the background, um, the scene behind Superman is just ruined. Like, there's fire everywhere and destruction. But then if you look at where Batman is, it's this brick building and a city in the background, like a, a lit city and a stormy sky, and didn't really see any rain or anything anything like that in the scene where Superman is, you know, doing the heat vision thing. Uh, and same when Wonder Woman is being thrown back. And, uh, you know, when she's thrown back against that, uh, that uh, concrete or whatever it is, and it cracks and she looks back... Uh, with her sword and shield, I think that is when the three of them are fighting Doomsday. Um, so I think the shot where Batman grapples away is the initial fight where Batman is ill-prepared and just gets out of the way and, you know, <laughs> tries to keep Superman under control but is completely ill-prepared, maybe has some tools that he can slow Superman down with, but then the shots where Wonder Woman is, like, uh, smashing together her gauntlets 
and um, Superman is using his heat vision. I think that is the final showdown between the three of them and Doomsday. Uh, so yeah, that's kind of my theory about the basic uh, plot details of Batman vs. Superman. It all makes sense to me. Um, really, the only part, now that I'm talking about it, that really wouldn't make sense uh, to me is uh, how Superman would be able to get rid of the brainwash uh, from Luther. Maybe he just has it for so long that it just kind of fades away. Like, maybe Luther didn't give him too strong of a dose of whatever it was. Maybe it was a variation of kryptonite. Um, because we know Luther has kryptonite, so uh, Batman gets it somehow. But, um, I mean, I could be right. I could be 100% wrong. Um, but I just thought that this made the most sense out of all the rumors that we've heard. None of this is really confirmed other than the, the few shots that we know are in the movie from the trailer, but we still don't know what those shots are from, like what the context of the scenes are and stuff like that. So, um, I don't know. Th this just made the most sense to me, putting all the rumors together. Uh, you guys can let me know what you think, if you thought the same thing. If this sounds like a, like a plausible kind of uh, turnout for you guys as well and uh, what your guys' theories are. Do you think I'm absolutely wrong? Do you think I could be absolutely right? And uh, sorry if I just spoiled the movie for you because, I mean, the movie is still six months out. So if this, if this ends up being right, then I'm going to refer back to this video and say, hey, look at that. I'm a genius. No, not really. But for now, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.